One more test of the video dimensions of the laundry room. I'm not sure who I heard the theme of 2022. I, I confess I watch a lot of videos on the internet. I get a lot of my news. I develop a lot of my opinions off the different videos I watch on the internet. And of course, I develop a lot of my opinion from reading the Bible and from being around other Christians. And as a matter of fact, a lot of the videos I do watch on the internet are videos by Christians for the most part. This year, I this year coming up 2022, I hope if you're one of my subscribers, you'll give me a chance. Give me a little bit of a chance, maybe a couple weeks, to uh, listen to what I have to say, to put me on the notifications, because I plan this year, 2022, in spite of any of the chaos that might be, I'm going to stay positive, because... 2022 be a better you so I'm encouraging everyone to be positive to love people unconditionally as much as humanly possible and if you have the Holy Spirit you'll be able to love unconditionally mm -hmm. supernaturally which I hope to encourage people to do that and that that way will be able to make this world a better place. And keep that in mind, 2022, be a better you, has everything to do with self-responsibility. You need to be responsible for yourself, not trying to make other people change, not trying to get involved with people that you're, you have to change, like when it comes down to relationships, pick people that will help you be a better person. That they're not trying to destroy you. They're not trying to like accuse you of being some sort of oppressor while they're oppressing you. Stay away from predators and be a preveller. I Someday you want to put together, you know, if, okay, I'm going to give you an idea. And if you're going to run with it, go run with it. But there's three types. I believe in this world, there's predators, there's prey, and prevailers. People who prevail are the people that are going to go above and beyond their circumstances. They're not going to make excuses for doing bad. They're not going to make excuses for wrong choices. They're not going to blame others for their circumstances. But the people who prevail are going to take responsi responsibility for themselves. They're going to take responsibility and they're going to be better. And of course, in my opinion, well... You got a peanut in your mouth. I don't got food on me. <laughs> he flinched at me. Look at him. He is crazy. Is that the that's the domesticated one, huh? Hey. 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 <laughs> You're a creep. Oh, where did he go? I mean, in the most supernatural and awesome way, you could be a prevailer. You could prevail over your circumstances if you have Jesus Christ in your life. Jesus Christ will carry you through. Jesus Christ will make you a better you. And the other one, the prey, the people that are weak, the people like, for example, if you're going through a bad time right now and if you're weak, by all means, you need to seek out help. You need to seek out a way to stay strong. Because yes, 
Like I've said in my videos before, Jesus is our crutch only because if you confess and you know you're damaged, Jesus is your crutch. Jesus is going to carry you through. Jesus is the ultimate healer. He's the great physician. So when you're at the point of weakness or illness or even in a bad state, by all means, stay in the herd, stay in the flock, because just like the wolf will pick out the weak of the herd, the one that won't stay with the herd, the one weak sheep, the weak prey. Next is the the uh, predators. And unfortunately, I confess, I've been, in a way, um, attracted to those uh, people that are weak. In my weakness, I am attracted to other weakness, and that, that makes you to be, most importantly, to be more vigilant. Because the predators, you do not ever want to be a predator. Because predators need to be destroyed. The wolf and the sheep. The wolf and sheep. The Bible uses the analogy of wolves in sheep clothing. Stay away from the, sh the sheep that are actually wolves in disguise. So this year, give me a chance to be able to speak into your life good things of encouragement. In spite of everything that's happening in the world, the predators are in the world. The predators are trying to dominate over the weak. The peasants are more stronger than they realize. The peasants are the ones hustling all day long, making ends meet, working hard to make some money, maybe even coming up with things to improve the world. The peasants, the lower man on the totem pole, the people at the bottom of the totem pole, are those who are holding the, the totem pole up. Without the bottom of the totem pole, the totem pole collapses. So if we are truly the lower people on the totem pole, we should be honored in a way, but we should also be, by all means, more vigilant than ever.